between a while with people. You're finally getting to see me for the first time here uh, since I've been a truth seeker as opposed to just listening to me. Uh, host of Fight the New World Order, now on Truth Talk News with Howard Nima. And I am so, Howard Nima, and very happy to have you here with me, Chris. Uh, it's been uh, it's been a long, long time since we've uh, we've worked together and, you know, spreading the truth and fighting the New World Order. And... Uh, I'm just glad that you that we've we've been, had the time to get this together, man. You know? Yeah, it's been a long time coming, Howard. You know, uh, we like we were somewhere else before, and then all the problems there, and now finally we're coming together. That's right, and it's 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 a really good time and an important time since all the crazy things yeah. going on. And again, let's just make a little like clarity to try to get this thing started. I'm I'm broadcasting here from uh, from Torrington, yeah. Connecticut, and. Chris Freedom Flowers is in Montreal, Canada, and we will be doing live broadcasts and giving information out about the dates uh, for coming, and we'll have a schedule. But for now, we're going to do, do some uh, recordings here discussing the New World Order and the current events of the days. What do you think about what's going on in the world right now, Chris? The world is at a turning point, Howard. I mean, if you take a look at, uh, let, let, let's talk about false flags here for a second, you know? We were so used to having the occasional massive false flag, like 9-11, you know, and then it would be 7-7, you know, but recently, the past couple of months has been insane. You got the Benghazi incident, you have the Boston bombing marathon uh, false flag, you know, and yeah, you know, and there's just tons of stuff going on. And, uh, you know, I was, I remember... About two years ago, talking to uh, a guest that I had on a show that I was doing, and we were talking about 2012, you know, end of the world, blah, 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 whatever. But he, he said something interesting that still resonates with me today, and that, he, that the year 2013 will be a tipping point, and that there will be a lot of false flags starting in this year, leading up until uh, when they initiate Project Bluebeam, for instance, which will be the, the accumulation of all these small little false flags. It just to scare people into like submitting to the new world order, to the ideology, giving up everything that that they have, gun control. Why do you think you know uh, all these school shootings are going on? It's to take your guns away. It's, it's no doubt. Control. In fact, um, I read a, a a passage. I have the book right here. I read a passage from uh, "Behold a Pale Horse," and uh, it said yeah. right there from uh, in in 1990 that one of the goals was to have uh, school shootings to uh, help to take the guns away. From 1990, that they were going to use the PSYOP of, uh, attack, of blowing up, you know, things and shooting children in schoolyards and things of that nature. Uh, Club of Rome documents talking yep. about uh, depopulation. And now what, what are we looking at? We're talking about... Uh, this thing's in the media. It's hitting the media right now. You just shared a, a, a video recently about Jacques Cousteau who wants to kill 350, the, 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 for, you know, the, the late Jacques Cousteau, wanted to kill 350,000 people a day. He said, we need to do it. It's yeah. a terrible thing to say, but we need to do it. Yeah, exactly. He's not the only one, you know, Ted Turner. Ted Turner. You all know Ted Turner. I mean, this guy came out publicly and stated that we need a mass... Uh, uh, I guess you could say genocide is probably, I'm, now I'm paraphrasing here, I'm not saying this is exactly what he said, but, you know, along the lines, uh, basically, that we need to cut the population by 80%. He did. And a lot of, yeah, a lot of people attribute him as being the one uh, who created the Georgia Guidestone. I you know, and if you... That's a pretty good, pretty good comparison, considering where it is, and considering his power in Atlanta, and CNN, and, you know, the Masonic elements are just, yeah, just all over the place. Um... You know, uh, with with the whole that whole thing, obviously a a Masonic uh, part of the order. Um, I, I I just um, I don't know. I, I I've been thinking that that a lot of the things that are going on right now, the psyop is just so. What about this psyop with with Kokesh, the guy that's that's um, he's uh, he you know the the activist who is planning on having a July Fourth. March on Washington with loaded guns. Yeah, that frightens me because uh, that's a psyop, and you know who's also behind that, right? Who's behind that? Alex, Alex Jones. Jones. <laughs> <laughs> the hell out of it. 
And I don't know, I'm not going to, like, you know, bust anyone's bubble for following Alex Jones. There is some good information that comes from his website and his researchers. But people have to understand something about Alex Jones. This guy is a show for the New World Order. And the fact that he's promoting people taking their guns, marching on Washington, that's a little, you know, that's a, a, a scary scenario in itself right there. Because who do you think is going to happen? People are going to start shooting at each other. They're going to start shooting at cops. They're going to start shooting at uh, politicians, bankers, anybody that they think is New World Order. That's the perfect scenario to take away their guns. Exactly. And, and let's stay with this a little bit. I think this will be the segment that I'm going to uh, will focus on is I think we hit, a, we hit an important part. Um, it is a psyop to take away the guns. You know, Alex Jones puts up this front, you know, that he's a patriot and all of this. But what he's really doing is exactly playing into their hands. What William Cooper warned about, speaking of William Cooper, what he warned about is that whoever fires that first shot loses, and it's the truth. It is. And, and the patriots, if a patriot fires a gun, the people will be behind the government. If the exactly. government fires a gun, the, peop the people will be behind the people. Well, yeah, and if uh, the patriots, the so-called patriots, or truth secret, whatever name you want to give them, start you know, shooting, everything's going to happen. They're going to paint the truth seekers to patriots as being uh, terrorists. on um, yeah. infidels, you know. Yeah. yeah. You know, and then uh, next thing you know, here it comes the FEMA camps, people. Yeah, it's almost like it's a setup. He's like, listen, it's like Alex Jones is like, they're FEMA camps. They're putting their, they're putting Bob wire. They're, they're, they're planning to, to mass, you know, to put everybody in FEMA camps and, and, and take away the guns and everything. He's warning everybody. And meanwhile, he's complicit behind getting everybody to, sure. getting it to happen. Sorry, Howard. Alex Jones is an actor. Yes, okay? he's literally an actor. If you, Google him, if you Google his name, it says actor in his uh, byline. And he was an actor. <laughs> he does have acting, uh, I don't know if, you, if, if it's an actual degree, but he did, you know, take acting classes. This is out there. You just got to research it. Yes. So, that, yeah, exactly. Like everything. Uh, that's a little scary, you know, and he, and he gets more attention than, than, than anybody. Like, a little cute little pudgy guy from Texas, you know, a loud note, gets all this attention. Well, all focus well our, our mutual friend, Barbara Hartwell. You know, yeah. We just, I, you know, and, she, and we got to talk about her. She's doing. She's unfortunately not doing very well. She's really. I'm going to plug her site. She really could could use some donations at this time. Honestly, she's in a, in a bad way. You know, we all have our our times of, of need. And she's a Barbara Hartwell. Dot CIA. Oh, excuse me, Barbara Hartwell versus CIA. Dot blog spot, spot dot com. Uh, and and she, her work has been cataloged for almost 20 years on that in this website. It's an incredible body of work in exposing these criminals ex like Alex Jones, these shills. Um, but Barbara, again, pointed this out, you know, that in 2000, and I think it was in 2003, she was on a show with Jeremy Floyd on GCN, and Alex Jones pulled this plug on her show uh, right on when she was on the air with him, and, and he didn't go for that. He ended up quitting he didn't he, 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 he would work under those you know, being being censored because she knows the truth mm -hmm. she knows the truth and she came out recently on air so I can expose this again I can you know mention it and came out is that Alex Jones is, is a CIA is basically a CIA family it, that came out on record last week did you know about that Chris that came out to the mainstream yeah. news I've been hearing about family this CIA yeah, I've been she's, she it. now has, has come on record that, on the record, saying that uh, with her experience being an intelligence agent for 30 years, a uh, counterintelligence agent, that she's had her suspicions, and now this is certainly clarifying any doubt that anyone might have that he is not an agent for the CIA. He is. Oh. I can recall a time, Howard, about two years ago, and a lot of people are going to remember this, okay, because this, this upset a lot of people. When Alex Jones proclaimed on his show, right, that he's got breaking news that would basically shake the foundations of the truth-seeking world and society in general. And it, it, it reached uh, Coast to Coast AM and George Norrie, okay? So George Norrie had him on the show to break the news. You know what the news was? A list of questions that he gave Charlie Sheen to ask President Obama. 
That was the news. And everybody was so upset. Even George Nori himself criticized Alex Jones live on there. Like, what is this? You don't get everybody hyped up and then come out with something so stupid like this, you know? Right. And again, I'm paraphrasing, you know? But, I mean, that's the, 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 that was the attitude that George Nori took with Alex Jones. And uh, it just infuriated a lot of people because, I mean, why come out here and say that you've got this breaking news? Everyone's thinking, oh, my God, he's going to break something massive, you know, like... Uh, well, that's the whole psyop, the whole... The, the, like, yeah. his... I'll intersperse some cuts of this. This is great. I got Like, when he uh, when he was uh, talking about the the end of the... the, the what was it? Excuse me. I have to cut this. Um, the millennium. The mm -hmm. whole, he was telling that the Russians were attacking... They were blowing up uh, nuclear power plants and all this ridiculous to get everybody incited again to get in to, to give the reason for martial law he's pushing for this martial law thing instead and, he and everybody it. thinks everybody thinks that he's against it exactly and you know another thing too is since we're on the alex jones topic and i'm not going to go off topic stay on it because we hit it yes alex jones his grandfather was the grandmaster of a lodge i don't remember which lodge it was but it was in texas okay he was the founding father of that lodge and you can Google it, and it will tell you. Okay? And that's for the people out there who uh, are Alex Jones fans. Now... Well, look. Like I, like I said, twice this I has happened. Chris, yeah. Twice this has yeah. happened to me. Because I had... I had bef You know, you had known about... About... Um, what, before I had... I had interviewed uh, Anthony Hilder. Before mm -hmm. I interviewed Anthony Hilder, you were planning to interview him to expose him and this free stink people through you, you know, you know, through through off the air. Yeah. Right? And I had to interview, pardon me, Howard, I had to interview with Anthony J. Hilder. I had it. Right. And my goal was not to promote Frankie's bitch. My goal was not to promote any of his work. My 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 goal was to expose, expose him. him. And, and, but I didn't know that, Chris, and I thought he was yeah. a good guy at the time. And then I got it. I did a show with him and uh sherry kane and len horowitz called in exposed him on air freaked me out on the whole thing woke me up to that whole thing yeah uh, that he's too is in the cia and and uh is a cia asset and he and, and clearly is is working for the for the cointel pro so for sure oh absolutely and that mm -hmm. was an expose expose that they did and i had them on the air many times we're good close friends to this day and um and what I see here is is this huge psyop with this gun thing, you know, marching on Washington, and they, and and there's there, the people in Washington saying we're going to arrest you, and they're going to they're going to have reasons. You're going to get some fired up rednecks or somebody going over there just with too much liquor in them or something the wrong. You're gonna you're asking for trouble, even if they're all law-abiding citizens. You're still asking for trouble. And innocent people are going to be caught in a crossfire. Most likely, because so, you can't do something like that and expect it to be, uh, I mean, I, I understand the concept, and, and if it was true that everybody thought like you and me, Chris, and we went there with our rifles, and we just stood there and did the right thing, you know, but there, you, you cannot uh, show this force against the government when the force could never even... I mean, it's 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 a, it's so symbolic. It it, it it it's 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 a joke. God forbid, they they clamp down. Everybody's you know. Come on, you're dealing with uh, whatever weapons the American people have as versus the American military, or worse, a foreign military which is already here and ready for this, which we all know nope. about, right? Privatized privatized security. Privatized yeah. security, black ops people. Uh, Mercs, yeah, thousands and thousands of them, ladies and gentlemen, if you're not aware of this.